All right, what is going on, everyone? It's always a reassuring sound, isn't it? Let's let this play out. From 1991, this is Mixed Up Mother Goose. This is the remake, the VGA version from Roberta Williams. It's a lovely game. And uh, let's start a new game. Oops, wrong one. Hold on. We gotta run the bat version. Now let's have some fun. Let's skip ahead. Don't need to hear that twice. All right, let's start a new game, everybody. I think we get to name our character here. Oh, we get to pick our child first. Always a strange sentence. Uh, so let's see. So I like this little kid. He looks like he's ready to fight. A uh, little blonde kid. That's I think that's who I picked when I was a kid because I had blonde hair. Don't know what happened to that. A bit more of a brown now. This kid's PJ say 45. I like that. I, <laughs> these kids look kind of terrifying, actually. The child of your choice. Uh, I'm going to go with this kid right here. I like his outfit. Uh, let's go LPWB. You got to stick with the branding, right? Plus, you can't fit a whole lot with eight characters anyway. And away we go. Let's get some context. Why are these... Why is Mother Goose so mixed up? Let's find out. Oh, here we are in our bedroom. Awesome! This is the luckiest kid in the world. He's got a robot. Got a Triceratops poster that comes alive. He's got a creepy dog that barks. A little baseball mint. That's the scariest thing of all. What What's that gingerbread person doing in my... All right. And a train. Happiest kid in the world. Just... <laughs> Not interested in playing with any of his cool stuff, just got that creepy blank expression on his face. Just waiting for instructions from our parents, I think. Then we'll head off to dreamland. Sorry, that was a spoiler. Mom? Dad? Are you there? Okay. It's time to go to sleep now. <laughs> just like that. What an obedient child. Gotta tell you, I was not like that at that age. I would have been playing with all that stuff. But what a wild dream we're having. Riding a goose off to fairy tale land or nursery rhyme land, better said. Hello, I'm Mother Goose. I'm so glad you came. My nursery rhymes are all mixed up. Can you help me fix them? Well, sure as heck try, Mother Goose. What do you want me to do, Mother Goose? Gotta figure out a voice for this kid. Each of my characters has lost an item he or she needs to complete their rhyme. Without it, they don't know what to do. They need you to help them find it. Can you do this? Sure I can. I'll have the voice by the end of the Let's Play. Good, good. If you need any help, you can find me in my house. <laughs> Relaxing. Having an adult beverage. Chilling out in the jacuzzi, probably. Why are we doing all this work from other goose? All right. So yes, this is the VGA version. I was just saying before I hit the record button that I was trying to get the deluxe version with all the, the fully voice acted to work. It's very difficult, it wasn't working, but this still looks nice. We have our speed over here. Let's crank that all the way up. I think volume's pretty good where it is. My little sister cries too much. Her name is Amy. That's a new feature they didn't have in the original. Well, Amy's going through some stuff right now, LPWB. All right? My best friend is named Carrie Kari Carrie. Wait, what? Is that how they, uh, what? <laughs> What's their name? My dad built us a tree house. Do you have a tree house? That's an open question for anyone watching this. Just shout out at your computer screens. Yes or no. All right. Well, let's, well, first off, let's see Mother Goose's digs. Yeah, she's just chilling out. Why not? She's worked hard enough. Hi, Mother Goose. Run along now. Help my rhymes find their lost items. <laughs> we just got here. Already put to work. That's okay. It sounds fun. All right, let's, uh, 
Let's scour the countryside and try to put these rhymes back together. Who we got here? Hi, what's your name? Hello, I'm Mary. I'm quite contrary, you know. You are? Oh, yes, indeed. That's always been one of my problems. And speaking of problems, I've lost my watering can somewhere. Have you seen it? I don't think so. I can look for it. All right. Got to find the... Oh, that's nice. They gave us a picture. Not sure how she communicated that to us, but it's nice to know what the watering can looks like. Am I right? Like, sometimes the items... Oh, here's a candle. Any idea of who this candle might belong to, gang? We can also pull up our map here. What do we got? There's all of Mother Goose's nursery rhyme land. Interesting. So we have uh, the folks that like the meat. <laughs> I'm an expert. Don't worry about that. There's uh, there's that guy with the lady. Oh, the Peter Peter pumpkin eater. Right. There's the kid with the the pie. He likes his pie. There's a kid with his dog. There's a uh, oh, there's a uh, no no not okay. About to say there's multiple sheep. In this world. Where's the kid with the, uh... Where's the kid with the candle? Where's... There he is. I say that's where we go next. Se seeing as we have the candle already. Let's head east. Still working on the watering can, Mary. <laughs> Telepathy for the win, that's right. This is what my watering can looks like, zonk. Hey, kid. Are you jumping, Jack? Yeah, I got your candlestick, Jack. Wonderful. Now you see some fun. Watch this. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oh, there are... Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. I'm so happy right now. I don't even care about the voice acting. I just wanted the song. So look at Jack. His pants are on fire. And game save for LPWB. Yeah, every time you see a kid launch into space and then come down with his pants on fire. Saves that game, which is good because I always forget to save. Which we learned in our... So, oh my gosh, it's the watering can. Exactly. As Mary telepathically describe it to us. You doing better, buddy? Anything else to say to you? Hi, Jack. Hi there. I want to thank you for finding my candlestick. You've made me very happy. I'm glad. Bye, Jack. <laughs> Goodbye now. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy that the songs are in this game. That's all I wanted. Like I said, I can do the voices just fine. <laughs> Although... That's a matter of opinion, I guess. I found your watering can, Mary! It's kind of like a young Jimmy Stewart, I think, is what I'm going for. My watering can! Oh, what a good child you are! If you'll excuse me, I'll go water my garden right now! Oh, so excited for these songs. Whoa! Yeah! Get out those lighters! That was epic. Oh, look at that. Game saved. Is she happy? Thank you for finding my water can. I don't think I've ever found it without you. Yeah, it was like two screens away. Not that difficult, but... A thank you is a thank you. And we're a nice child. Young LPWB is. Oh, we got some porridge! Who might this be for? This is for the, uh, this is... Is this the lady in the shoe? Where is the shoe? There it is. It's all the way over there. Yep. You can see she's looking for that porridge for the kids. Can't let those kids starve. Gotta make a beeline of that shoe, everybody. <laughs> it's 
surprise keeping us honest. Technically, there was not a watering can in that rhyme. <laughs> Nonetheless, she needed something. Yeah, the porridge should be Goldilocks, but I think in this case, if I remember correctly, the old woman needs to feed those kids. Honestly, who couldn't use a bowl of porridge? Aw, uh, what's wrong, little boy? I bet you need your puppy. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Have you lost something? My dog, my little dog. I'll help you look for him. Oh, would you? His ears are cut short and his tail is cut long and he answers to the name of Spot. More telepathy. Now, when you say they're cut short, that's just by nature of, like, the breed, right? You didn't, like... Anyway, I'll find your dog. There's the shoe, and there's a pipe, too. That shouldn't be so close to a child's play area. Wouldn't want that to fall in the wrong hands. I found you a bowl of broth, even though you didn't ask for one. It's not porridge, it's broth, but there you go. Looks delicious regardless. Land sakes, you did it! Just in time, too! I was at the end of my rope! Children, children, supper time! She was like, I was about to eat one of those myself. Land sakes. I need to start saying land sakes. I don't know why. There was a <laughs> like the kid in the diaper. <laughs> Climb it down. Many children didn't know what to do. She gave them some rock without any bread. And kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. They just had to remind me that I didn't find them any frickin' bread. Yeah, okay, I get it. I'll bring bread next time, old lady. And honestly, that was, that's not that many kids. That's four kids, right? That's probably conservative by uh, most Catholic family standards. Nice to help them out, though. All right, who needs the pipe? I have a sneaking suspicion of who could do with a pipe. Not the crying child. Come on. We need to make our way all the way up here to the castle. Can we get a picture of the guy? There's old King uh, Cole, I believe. Loved his soul? Music? I don't know. Well, that's why we're playing this game. Oh, that looks delicious. No time for that right now, though. Got a pipe in my pocket. Alright, there's the pumpkin house. Oh, there's some bread. Oh, well. She already put them to bed. What are you gonna do? Now, when I was a kid, my brother played this game with me. And he always liked to, uh... He always insisted there's just a lady wandering around. We'll figure out her story later. He always insisted that we end on the old King Cole, because that was his favorite. But he's not here right now, so I'm in charge. We're doing old King Cole fourth. I brought your pipe, your majesty. My pipe! What a welcome sight! Let's celebrate, fiddlers! You three play a jig! Now where's my bowl? Oh here it is! Oh, in the original, I think you had to get him all three old things. King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Yes, he called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, <laughs> and he called for his fiddlers LPWB was like, what the heck? <laughs> Looks very distressed. Interesting. Game saved. All right, we are four of 18 through the game. I was about to try to figure out the math, but maybe maybe in a couple more I'll do some math for you. You have pleased me greatly, child. I will put in a special word about you to Mother Goose. Thank you, Your Majesty. Nice. Nice to have powerful allies, you know what I'm saying? All right. It's weird how it's looking over. Alright, what's your deal, lady? Hi, you look lost, are you? Me lost? I never get lost. I just like to get out and meet my neighbors. Ah, oh, it's the Peter Pumpkin Eater Lady. P the Pumpkin Eater Lady. I am going that way, actually. I just passed it. You're not that far from there, actually. Let's do it. Hi, Mrs. Pumpkin Eater. Yeah. Yes. Is she actually going to follow me? 
Did they not uh, give me her as like... Alright, there we go. Just had to get close enough to make contact there. It's literally two screens, well, three screens away, I guess. This one's weird. I'm not gonna lie. Here's your wife, M Mr. Pumpkin Eater. It's like Tom Petty. Well now, convinced her to come home, did you? Wonder how long she'll stay? I don't know, why does she not have reason to stay? That's the question. At least she's back. Let's see if I can keep her now. Like I said, this is about to get weird. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. Oh, like that smile. That's abuse, but we got a we got a point for it. That's all that matters. Oh, I need that bread. I remember not finding that as a child, because it's like, you don't think to go in the backyard, you know? Let's see, who needs the bread? Let's take a look at our map. Oh, there's the well. Jack and Jill, perhaps? There's the uh, little Miss Muffet. She needs some food, but not the bread. There's the old crooked man. I think he needs his, like, sixpence. Oh, there's, uh... Alright. <laughs> A lot of folks to still help. Yeah, they need their meat. Which one's this? That's the kid with the pie. Where's the mouse? Hickory dickory dock. I think we need a mouse or some... Alright, I'm not going to touch the bread right now. Because I'm not sure who might need it. Oh, it's the kid with the supper, I think. Listen to me. Such an expert. Let's go grit, uh, let's grab that bread. Little Jack Horner, I don't think he'll mind if we go into his backyard uninvited. Alright, so the bread we can take to the... Uh, Carver Kid. I think it's the Carver Kid. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, nursery rhymes that I forget exist, or I wouldn't know if it weren't for this game. Laddie Caddy Baddy Raddy. No, that won't do. I'm just a sad that he's Irish as heck. Why, Tommy? I've got your bread knife. Maybe I should try fishes, dishes, wishes. I said I've got your bread knife. Bread knife? Hey, that rhymes with wife. Oh, here comes an audience. Stand back and listen to me sing. Where did these people come from, by the way? Oh, it's three little kids. Whoa. All right. That was like the triple speed version. <laughs> At least we got to hear the song, right? I thought, like, in the original one, like, one, like, little girl sticks around and he blushes and, you know, it's cute. Not this time. Very lonely. Alright. Here's one I think everyone remembers. Humpty Dumpty. Hi, Humpty. What are you doing, Mr. Egg? I'm no egg, I'm Humpty Dumpty, and I want to sit on that wall. You probably need a ladder. A ladder? Oh yes, a ladder. Good idea. Can you find one? I think I can do that, Mr. Dumpty. Good, good. That would help a lot. A bit of Jalo worked into that one. Anyone, uh, anyone pick up on the, the Jalo nuance right there? Speaking of Roberta Williams, a King's Quest Six reference. For good measure. I think my brother liked the Banbury Cross one too. <gasps> it's a sheep. Little lamb. 
Let's go grab it. <laughs> Let's grab it. I think I know who needs this little lamb. Well, it sounds sinister when I, I think I know who needs this. No, I do. Quite genuinely. Can we talk to the lamb? My dad likes to build things in the garage. I help him. Full on Jimmy Stewart at this point. I'm set on it. Because why not? Mother Goose, does she own this whole land? How does she, uh... What's her relationship with old King Cole? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Show up with the lamb for the, the kid. He's like, that's not my dog, stupid! Alright, kid. I'm still looking for your dog. Little lamb's pretty good, though. Here we go. There's my little lamb. Oh, lammy dear, I missed you so much. Thank you for finding him. Adorable. Sing along at home. This one has a lot of depth to it. There's a lot of plot. And that's how it ended. Good times. I love that comment. By the way, surprise. <laughs> I think we just learned from your comment that yes, it's true. Adventure game children don't develop unlimited inventories until they grow up. <laughs> LPWB is very small. Plus he's in his pajamas, so we only have so much uh, inventory space. It's the fine how do you do, as my grandmother would say. Well, who are you? Can't you tell who I am? I'm Little Miss Muffet. Who else would carry around a bowl of curds and whey? Yeah! Well, if you don't like curds and whey, then why do you eat them? It's all part of the job, I suppose. Are you lost or something? Yes, I can't find my tuffet. Do you mind if I tag along with you? No, not at all. Maybe I can help you find it. Could be anything from that picture, but luckily I know exactly where it is. Oh, there's that meat. Can't forget about the meat for the uh, husband and wife that like the... One of them likes the lean meat, one of them likes the fat. And they make it work. Some relationships are about the yin and the yang, you know. I think the butterfly is... I think that's just for... For fun. Oh, there's the mouse! Don't worry, little mouse. We'll come back to you. Stay on the screen. That would never happen in real life. That mouse would be clear across the, uh... The world by the time I got back. Oh, There's a musical instrument. I think I know who that belongs to. There's Jack and Jill. Hold on, where's your... Where's your tuffet? Looks like a... Well, I won't say what that looks like. Almost looks like one of my points down here. There, we found it. Where's your tuffet, Miss Muffet? You were right, there it is. Oh, look at those cobwebs. Well, I better sit down and eat my curds and whey right away. Waste not, vaunt not, as Granny would say. Way. <gasps> that sounds like the voice actor that did uh the the chief thief in Mordavia. Man, how would I how would I verify that? That would be difficult. The songs are probably completely uncredited in this game. I like that spider though. I like how different all the songs are too. They didn't just go with like one style, you know? Ah, sixpence. All right, so the crooked old man is just on this other screen here. You doing good now? You and the spider working out. Where did that mean old spider go, Miss Muffet? Oh, him? I gave that spider a mouthful of my curds in a way. That frightened him off. 
Way to go, Miss Muffet. <laughs> Way to go. Alright, he lives right down here. My brother liked this one too, I'm pretty sure. I found your sixpence, Mr. Uh... Eh, what was that? You found my sixpence, you say? It's about time. What? <laughs> Alright, sorry I was wasting your time. Now stand back out of my way! Hey, where's the cricket man? Who went a cricket mile? He found a cricket sixpence beside a cricket style. He bought a cricket cat, which got a cricket mouse. And they all live together in a cricket <laughs> little house. I saw a mouse, but that's not the one I want. Kind of like knock on the door, but like, sir, I need that for another nursery rhyme. <laughs> Trying to uh, stretch my. Here we go. <laughs> I love the expression on that little mouse's face. <laughs> my dad likes to build things in the garage. I help him. You already said that. Oh, little mouse's legs can't keep up. This might be the house here. Oh, this might. Be where are we? This might be the fa uh, the husband and wife here. Yep. Nope. Let's not go in this house. They might squish and or eat our little mousy friend. Just south one screen. Oh, we're halfway there. By the way, look at that. Nine points out of a possible 18. That has to be the lowest, like, total of any Sierra game. Oh, good. I see you found the mouse. And just in the nick of time, too. It's almost one o'clock. Stand back and watch the little fellow's antics. Well, uh, okay. They put more work into some of them than others. That's clear. Is there anything in here that we need? I don't see anything. Fun. All right, there's nothing in the backyard of this house, right? I think we already got whatever it was. All right, so we know that meat is over... I think it's just through town to the east. We'll take it to that couple. When you start to get down to like the last few nursery rhymes, you're like, oh gosh, where is the, uh, which screen is that on? That's why it's nice to make a mental note where you've seen different things. The world's not that big, but it can have you walking around for a while if you're not paying attention. There we are. <laughs> the dog turns its head to her. I found you a ham, Mr. and Mrs. Spratt. Ah, perfect. Just set it on the table, will you? Look, honey cakes, a nice mix of lean and fat. Yes, yes, I see. Bon appetit. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between them both they lit the platter clean. Simple. I do like the animation of them eating, and nothing for the dog. Ah, oh, the bone. Aw. Everybody- Whoa, did you swallow that thing whole? Alright. You do you. Is there anything here that we need? Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. Nothing is animated as such. I don't think that's the dog the little boy is looking for. Okay. Let's keep on looking. So we still need, what, a ladder? We need multiple sheep. We need a flock of sheep. We need... I'm trying to think. Let's go in the schoolhouse. There might actually be something in here that we need to grab. Oh, there's the bucket. Jack and Jill will be so happy. Oh, uh-oh, somebody's in the, uh, the sin bin. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Shh. 
2 plus 2 equals 4. Look, look, it took her a second to figure that out. She's like, think back to your training. Back to college. Alright, let's deliver this bucket post haste. Yeah, we need to get the pie too. Good call. And we need to get the uh, little uh, wooden riding horse too. She's still doing good. Is there anything back on this screen out of curiosity? Now we're just creeping on uh, that Carver kid or whatever his name was. Found your bucket, your pail. Here's your pail. Our pail. Now we can go and fetch a pail of water. You should probably go to the hospital. She's probably fine, but I think Jack may have sustained some, like, serious head trauma. And... No, we're not going to worry about that? Okay. Can I actually not go up here? Oh, make it seem like I can. I guess not. You all right, Jack boy? You do okay? Sure smarts. That's what I say after a concussion. Okay. Well, we're two-thirds the way done. We're getting there. Anyone remember, uh... I think it was called Mother Goose's, like, Rockin' Rhymes or something like that? Yeah, she needs her flock. It's like a made-for-TV movie. Oh my gosh, one screen over? That's just lazy. Not that I'm complaining. My sheep, and look at those tails wagging. Thank you ever so much for finding them. I mean, they might come home. They're not like pigeons or... <laughs> Awful sound. Yeah, they had like... Little Richard was in it, and uh, I don't remember anything else, but some good tunes in that. Made for television film. For children. Alright. So we're down to the last five. We need the pie. We need the little dog. We need the horse, uh, the instrument. Let's go all the way over here. I don't think we've been this far east yet. There's gotta be something over here. There's Humpty's ladder. Money. I if I could have gone left there again. Can I go in the house? Is there something in the shoe? Ah, the kid's pie. Man, this is out of our way. Can we just, like, tell the kid as we're walking by, hey, old lady in the shoes got your pie. As an aside, wasn't, like, she freaking out over giving them their their uh, their uh broth or whatever? Like, you had a perfectly good pie right there. Admittedly, there's not as much nutrition value in a pie. But, uh, still better than letting the children starve. Alright. So after those two, little dog, riding horse thing. Oh my god, don't see the king. Oh, I was not paying attention. <laughs> He's like, yeah? <laughs> what can I do you for? It's like, nothing, of course, because I'm the king. Found your ladder. Here's your ladder, Mr. Dumpty. Oh, good. Just what I need. Now watch me. Don't do it. Brilliant. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, the ambulance. Is that horse certified? That guy was wearing a full suit of armor. Oh my goodness. Why did they take him then if they couldn't fix him? They knew that going in? Jeez. Probably just went to uh, make the king a, the biggest, um, a king-sized omelet, to quote Mr. Wonka. It's dark. What about the Hippocratic? Oh, no, he's okay. You all right, buddy? Well, how you feeling, Mr. Dumpty? Fair to middling, child, but I'll survive. Always do. Too bad I like sitting on these walls so much. It does seem dangerous. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're okay. Need anything else? Nope, I think I'm all set now. Thanks anyway. Yeah, it's always nice to go back to that screen, because if you don't come back, it seems very dark. It just seems like he bled out and he's dead. But no, he's okay. Despite what they said, someone put him back together. I don't know who. It's like a... I don't know, I guess it's like a three-foot drop. It doesn't seem that high up, but I'm not an egg. Never been an egg. For that, I can only apologize. All right, so we gotta find the dog. We know where the pie is. Let's grab that pie from the shoe. The instrument. And lastly, the uh, the horse. And I think, I think we're good. No, not the classroom. Oh, is that something new? It's a nice little animation there that they actually have her teaching something. There's a little pup. Come on, buddy. I know a little boy who's missing you something fierce. I think he's right down here. Found him. My little dog. Thanks. A lot of waltzes. I don't know about this one. It's right there. Got your dog back. Good boy. Or girl. Alright. We're getting close. Three nursery rhymes to go, people. It's exciting. Ah, my favorite. We're saving you for last. Even though I don't like what they do with the, uh... The song itself in this game, if memory serves. All right, let's get that pie. Might say that for second to last, because I have no idea where that last thing is. The Vanberry cross the horse head. I'll take that. Jack's been looking everywhere for this. A lot of Jacks in this game. A lot of Jacks in nursery rhymes and fairy tales in general. Jack the Beanstalk. Jack with the Candlestick. Jack Horner. Insert your others that I may have missed. Oops. Did anyone see the horse head? It's not in here. Here's your Christmas pie, Jack. Oh boy, my last pie. I'll just go sit in the corner and eat it. You don't have to sit in the corner, man. Do you want a spoon or something? No thanks. Who needs a spoon when you got two hands? I don't know, civilized people? A German. <laughs> so strange. The whole rest of the nursery rhyme land is like, uh, Jack, it's July. Why you got that Christmas tree up, bro? All right, I don't know what the horse head is, so let's just go get that fiddle. Protagonist looks like George Lazenby's Bond. <laughs> 
My brother would love that comment. We like George Lazenby a lot <laughs> on this channel. Lazenby, Lazenby, whatever. And his one Bond film. Alright. This was always my favorite when I was a kid. The cow jumping over the moon. Just the idea of a cow jumping over a moon. Thrilled me to no end. To say the least. <laughs> this game has a barber shop quartet song. This game is perfect. We've heard everything else. I think you hear like a, a hard rock version of one of these nursery rhymes. Maybe like a rap as well. I think this is like a hoedown. Hey, Mr. Cat, I found your fiddle. Hot dog, you sure as shooting did. Why don't you stand over there and watch while I test her out? Hey, little, little, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Moon's like, oh. Little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. One word. Acid. But it was always my favorite. Not acid. That particular nursery run. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, where the heck is the head? Where's the horse head? Maybe I just go to that screen and it figures itself out? This, this part might call for some editing. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. You should be riding a cock horse. Well, what's a cock horse? It's a toy horse you can ride, silly. Doesn't everyone know that? Okay, if you say so, but why do I need one? Why, to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find one. Uh, that's what it looks. Has anyone seen one of those yet? <laughs> the horse head is in your own bed. I guess if this were the Godfather, it might be. Ah, jeez. All right. Definitely gonna edit this part, because right now I feel like I'm gonna have to go to every screen. Is it in Mother Goose's house? Hey, MG. You seen that, uh, cockle horse? Do you have any idea where the cock horse is? <laughs> Just cock horse. Look in the crooked man's house for it. Aha! Thank you for that hot tip. She's got surveillance all over this land. Cameras everywhere. The watering can. There's six right there on the spout. And despite that, she has no idea how all these nursery rhymes got all mixed up. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't think to go in this guy's house. There it is. You still doing all right? I suppose I should thank you for finding my crooked sixpence, youngster. I really am appreciative. I don't need anything else, though. Thanks, anyway. I get out of here. Alright. Fair enough. Are we riding it, actually? That's a nice detail. Yeah. That's fine. Alright, let's finish strong in the center of town. This is appropriate. Great. Got the cock horse, and just in time, too. Here comes the fine. So she was coming here regardless. I knew it. I got duped. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes it's like the men's marching choir or something. Anyway. We did it, everybody. I like we're literally riding the goose like one screen. And it's not even that direction. But whatever. Suspend your disbelief. Hey, 
Hey! Some of the nursery rhyme characters could be bothered to come out. <laughs> like a third of them. You did great! What a wonderful child you are! Now my nursery rhymes are all fixed and working fine! We will never forget what you did for us. Right, gang? At least the ones who could be bothered. Right, Mother Goose! Place the, uh... From the, uh... Hey Diddle Diddle showed up. Ah, it was nothing. Oh dear, it's almost morning. You better go home now. This kid slept for 45 minutes. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Crooked old man showed up. I was... Wouldn't have been my first thought. That's nice to see. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Creepy anthropomorphic sun staring in. A little bird outside. That was fun. <laughs> you finished. Play another game or quit. Worst ending ever. But hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully we turned you on to some new uh, nursery rhymes you maybe weren't familiar with going into this Let's Play. That's always the goal with every Let's Play think it's uh, just a bit more effective this time around. And we'll see you next time. More fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with the Briggins. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.